we go back to Yale, that's Walter Camp, and um, he, he coached from about 1875 to the early 20th century, and he had a miraculous 280 and 14 record wow. over that time. And um, he's also known for um, creating the down system and the line of scrimmage. Back then, football was really sort of a mix between soccer and rugby. It wasn't the football that we know of today. And, but with camp, it really started with him, and he's the one who sort of laid the foundations for what we know is to be modern American football today. So why, when we think about the great coaches in college football history, we think about Joe Paterno, Lou Holtz, why do we never hear of camp? Well, he's, we hear about him in the history books, and he's certainly in the Football Hall of Fame and mentioned there. But um, quite frankly, a part of it is because the Ivy League um, they don't comp they don't participate in the bowl championship series anymore. They just started allowing their basketball teams to go to the final mm -hmm. the final four, um, but they they pretty much after World War II opted out. They saw the corruption mm -hmm. in the NCAA, and and it, you know there's a famous quote um, from Jerry Tarkanian, the old basketball coach for the University of Nevada Las Vegas, and he said. Nine out of ten teams in college basketball are cheating, and the mm -hmm. tenth one's in last place. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what the Ivy League saw, was that the, I think after a while, the alumni had influence, and they really did start to become very seriously concerned about their academic integrity. And I think they just saw college athletics as being so corrupt, especially in the early 20th centuries, that they just opted out of it. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law a leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.